Imperial College now recognises cancer research as a major research focus. We have a number of cross-cutting themes, including epigenetics and stem cells, gonadal biology with a particular focus on ovarian biology and ovarian cancer, imaging, looking at functional PET and MRI, linking closely with the MRC Imanova Centre and the Imperial Stem Cell Unit. Molecular pathology, looking at patient stratification uh, using a range of uh, modern omics technologies. So this broad portfolio of research has really allowed us to build on the in innovative cancer and basic research that is happening at Imperial College the innovative technologies allowing us to take evidence-based medicine approaches through clinical trials to try and improve the treatment of cancer. In recognition of the research excellence in cancer research at Imperial College, we have been competitively awarded a number of centres of excellence. We have the Cancer Research UK Centre, we have an imaging centre in conjunction with the MRC Imanova Centre. We have the CRUK and NIHR Experimental Cancer Medicine Centre. And we've been awarded the Ovarian Cancer Action Research Centre, the only research centre of its type in the world. My name is Luca Magnani. I'm an Imperial Junior Research Fellow working at the Faculty of Medicine. What we study in the lab is really trying to understand why certain people with breast cancer develop resistance to therapy while other people are sensitive and develop new drugs called epigenetic drugs to target specifically this project. The reason why I joined Imperial is because uh, uh, there's an incredible collaboration between the basic science here at the bench and what happened in the hospital, so at Charing Cross. Very good collaboration with clinician, oncologist and with other people here in the department. And this is why I really hope in the future to continue my career here over at Imperial. My name is Sarah Blagden. I'm a senior lecturer at Imperial College and I'm also a medical oncology consultant. And my work is really uh, involves two aspects of science. One is looking at protein synthesis or mRNA translation and how it's dysregulated in cancer. And the second aspect is looking at early clinical trials. My trials unit is embedded within the Wellcome NIHR Clinical Research Facility at Hammersmith Hospital and here we try out new treatments, be they new cytotoxic drugs or new targeted therapies in patients who've exhausted all standard treatment options. Another side of our work is to look at translational science, in other words bed, bench to bedside, so bringing work that we've done in the lab as quickly as possible into clinical trials. And this truly is translational research because we take samples from the patients and we're looking particularly at resistance mechanisms in ovarian cancer and we take samples and look at them in the lab and get a real-time idea of how patients are responding to treatment. Through all these different strategies, we hope to develop better treatments for cancer patients. And going forward, I think this is a really exciting place to work. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm a third year PhD student here at Imperial. I work in epigenetics, specifically in ovarian and breast cancer. Well, I'm Richard. I'm finishing my PhD now, and I came to Imperial three years ago from Germany because Imperial has such a good reputation, and they attracted me of, of, uh, coming in and also uh, the, the research here is it's really uh, groundbreaking. So I mean I work in quite basic molecular biology but um, I think one of the best things about Imperial is that in any given meeting I might be sitting next to a medical doctor and a bioinformatician or statistician and getting the different viewpoints of all these people on what you're doing is um, really helpful to push these projects forward. Oh, yeah, what I also like about uh, doing a PhD is that people are really helpful and collaborative so even though you work in different aspects of cancer, people really like to help you and you can learn a lot from each other. Across Imperial College, there is outstanding research and innovation. Our vision in cancer research is to take this outstanding innovation and apply it within a cancer research setting that will address all aspects of the patient journey, from cancer prevention, through early cancer diagnosis to cancer treatment and to thinking about ways how we can overcome and improve our current therapies. 
the depth of knowledge at Imperial College in a whole wide range of areas from chemistry to physics, engineering, bioengineering, computing and mathematics is truly outstanding and provides us really almost unique opportunities to be able to apply that to patient benefit and to do truly outstanding cancer research.